let's go. Time to go to Bernie, pick up some coils for this bad boy. Sunday drive with my beautiful wife and uh, heading to Bernie and going to pick up some coil packs for the circuit today. Um, it's got a little bit of a misfire and I discovered the top of one of the coils is a little tiny bit loose. And we've got something special for uh, you guys, hopefully Dean that I'm picking them up from. We're going to be filming Supra today because that's a nice car. Very good. Alright, I'm here with the man Dean. He has fucking come to the rescue for me. Thank you very much, mate. Right, mate. Um, and this man has got a really nice black Supra uh, that we're going to go up and have a look at. It's a little bit pulled apart at the moment. He's changing it to the big brake. So this is in full drive mode at the moment. Jacked up. This is a very, very nice Supra. Jeez, it's been a while since you washed it by the look of it, mate. Yeah. You've been going off road. <laughs> Every time I see your car, it is gleaming shiny clean. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever seen it dirty, so it's good to see it. Good to see it's not, it's not uh, just me that gets a dirty car. So what he's currently doing right now is upgrading from the two pot calipers, the slide pin calipers, to the big boys, big four pots. Good work. I did that same uh, upgrade on mine about oh, a year and a half ago. All right, we can't go without having a look under the bonnet, so I'm making him lift it up. This, this thing's tidy. It's a really well-built vehicle. Oh. 3582. Correct. Garrett. Yeah. Yep. And what ECU, what injectors have you got, mate? Running the Houtech 2000. And, um, yeah, just running actually Denzel 850s. 850s, yep. Yeah. And this is pumping out how many kilowatts at the wheels? Made 500 at the wheels, but I tuned it at 450. Because, uh, yep. Yeah, the coil packs would be enough. Right. Yeah, yep. So the next upgrade is probably... GDR coil pack, Well, yeah, go that, I reckon. Go yeah, the... GDR coil packs and... Platinum racing product set up, I reckon. I reckon. Yeah. They look like they go. Depends. Cool. Thanks very much for showing us this, mate. We better keep going. And thank you very much for the coils. I'm here, I'm going to change this while I'm on the fly, but this is the issue. I reckon that's broken in that connection there. When I went to plug that in last night, the other day, I've realised that's really loose. So I'm gonna swap that out while we're here now. Right, get that out. Out that one, throw that rib in. New one going in. If I can get it back in there, why isn't it lining up on the spark plug? There we go. Cool. Misfires be gone! Just had to pull over to uh, capture this thing coming behind. Have a look at this. Is it a statesman? I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. That is cool as fuck. Alright, that, that looks sick. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at this Cars and Coffees thing. 
What a day to be out on the road. So this just pulled up in the car park and I had to have a look at it and I had a quick chat with the owner. And this is actually factory built called an Overlander. I've never seen one and it's the only one registered in the state as a statesman. Um, but this is how it came out of the factory registered V8 with Dana running gear under it. So it is actually four wheel drive. What a beast. Absolutely awesome. All right, so there's a car show thing going on over here and Sanders over here, so I better go and uh, compare my beard with him. So this is a fundraising event by Tassie Cruises, driven not hidden. All proceeds go to people in need across the state. That's awesome. So this is really cool. Just by accident we found this today. Um, a whole heap of cars on display and I can't film down the other end too much because they've got music going. I don't want to get copyrights on YouTube. But I'll capture a little glimpse of it and hopefully I don't get enough of the audio that uh, it ruins this video. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. There are some exceptional cars here today. This is really cool. Crown. There's a very tidy Centura. Oh, some fancy ignition stuff inside. Now this is a really unique, different build. Dual axle on the rear. <laughs> and the bride in the back. <laughs> With the knobs. Love it. Now this car I've been in, this thing is fast. It's got an LS in it with nitrous and cut and laps at Simmons Plains, this thing absolutely holds. Probably not so fast at the moment because he's on one leg. <laughs> How you going man? Good to see it out. Are you going to Supernats next week? I can't hang around here all day, unfortunately. I'm gonna head off, but it's pretty cool. We were just passing through, and just thought I'd stop and have a look, and why not while I'm making a video for the day. Let's see. And there's the old girl over there. I mean, which one would you pick? Which one would you pick to go and have a fun ride in? One, two, or three? Take your choice. Mustang, Supra, or Overlander? See you on the next one, guys. Thanks. <laughs>